guys welcome back again to my kitchen today I'm going to make some fried chicken here for you guys this is another requested video someone wanted to know how to do fried chicken using curry powder I'm going to rub this thing up for you and see that you guys see how I do this so if you want to see how I make fried chicken using curry powder Jamaican style in my kitchen come on and So right here guys I have some chicken in here make sure that you clean it really good you wash it with vinegar and lemon juice both I left most of the skin on there because the skin is going to chop that moist inside of the chicken so do not remove the chicken all the chicken skin do not remove it if you want to remove your chicken skin and chicken come on dry dry then that's on you but in my kitchen I'm going to keep on some of my chicken skin now I'm going to also use a little bit of cayenne pepper I have a cup of milk use any milk of your choice I also have my paprika some Jamaican all-purpose seasoning and of course I'm using my curry powder and everything in here is a teaspoon and a half one egg I'm also going to use salt and pepper and of course vinegar now I'm gonna answer this question again for everybody who keep asking me why I use vinegar in my food in all my meat I use vinegar now guys vinegar again like I said it's not just good for your system and cleansing you out but it also gives your food a ton of flavor it doesn't matter what kind of meat that you're cooking put some vinegar in there and I guarantee you people will be coming back for more so let's put all this ingredients guys, first together. thing I'm going to do I'm gonna go ahead and add my curry powder my cayenne pepper and my Jamaican up for seasoning I'm gonna put everything in here go ahead and add one egg also gonna add a little bit of now guys what I'm going to do here I'm just gonna go ahead and let this soak up all that good okay guys so we're moving to the next we are going to go ahead and just put everything in here and that's all and that's it right there so let's right. move I on have my chicken here that's been marinating for about an hour and now I have my flour here and it's ready and only thing I have in here is the paprika and the salt and pepper okay over here I have a pot on the fire that has cooking oil in it make sure that your fire is on medium heat and not higher because you don't want when you put your chicken in it's starting to burn and all and things there okay so okay so we're here gonna we put go. the chicken in here and the flour you just want to go ahead and make sure you get the flour all over your chicken so this is exactly how you want it to look all right and you gently put it inside of your frying pan guys I'm gonna let that fry for about five minutes on medium temperature so but keep an eye on it because everybody's stove temperature is different but my stove is on medium heat so I'll see you back when this side is all done okay guys so one set of the chicken is all done I'm making up a little bit of gravy to go with that I have the next batch right there that is in front. So there you go guys, it's um, come together really nicely, a nice golden brown color. Do for you guys, I'm going to put it on, a, on the plate, make a complete meal out of this. So I'll see you back when everything is all done. There you have it guys, I'm all done, a complete meal for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy!
gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time to eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.